Good morning, it's Wednesday morning and we're already off to uh, early start making breakfast. Peter's helping out making some toast over there. And I am making some scrambled eggs here. And we're trying to hurry up and be able to get Daddy off to work this morning and we need to start school. Morning, Mary. Papa. You have your Baba. Did you have a good sleep last night? Papa. Yeah, what's on your back? Yummy. What is it? Cummy. Cummy, that's right. She likes wearing Cummy around. It's like her friend. A monkey friend. Mommy, yeah. what happened to your egg? Yeah, well, at the moment it looks like it had an avalanche, but it's all right. It'll still be good. It we're in the middle of making lunch. Charity is helping me this, well, that was this afternoon. And you've, if you've been watching our channel for any amount of time, you know that one of my standby dishes is my Mexican beef and cabbage. It's really good. And Charity says it's really good. I like it. And it's pretty much just cabbage, beef, onions, and a taco, uh, a taco seasoning. seasoning packet and water. And I like it because it's more of a low carb, um, I don't know how it falls on the Trim Healthy Mama plan. I think it's probably pretty good for you. Tell me what you think. Do you want muffin or popcorn? Does Grace like her food? I think Mary sounds like she's hungry. Yeah, she should probably get started. Mary's problem, she wants a muffin. And we're gonna have those very soon. What did you sell today? Um, so my first crocheted item off of Etsy. That is so cool. We're gonna go to the post office and ship it out. Isn't that awesome? She sold lot. She sold lots of her nuts, but and she has my pretty punch. And your pretty punch things, but she hasn't done any of her crocheting. And today she sold her first item. So there's a lot of excitement in the girl department. We're gonna actually load up right now. Um, Art should be coming home shortly. I'm gonna load up the kids. We're gonna head over to the post office and ship that out. And we're also, I think we're gonna head out to get some milk at the farm store. We just checked the P.O. box and there's a package for somebody, but it's not for me, it's for Charity. All right, Charity, here's your package. Okay. Open it now. Open it now, Charity. Yeah. Told you something was coming for you. What is it? Pongs? What is it? Pongs. Oh, those Orange. are the ones. Orange green. Do you remember Charity on the video? No. Yes, when we went to Ocean State. You picked them up and you said, oh, I love these. <laughs> I did. I don't remember that. And let's see. Where's the play? Hey. Yeah, I remember. Think this yeah. is a bag. Yep. It looks like maybe a crochet bag. <laughs> yeah. I like that. So you don't have to leave your crochet stuff around. <laughs> and a spatula like mommy's. Oh. Okay. And what color is it? Pink. Thank you. It's time for our third tax ceremony. And these are the people who have written to us in our P.O. box. And the first one goes to Grand Rapids, Michigan. Uh, that's my sister. She wa <laughs> my sister wanted a tax, so she sent us a postcard. Grand Rapids, right there. And then we have two from Oregon. They're almost neighbors. Uh, Jefferson, Oregon, and Donald, Oregon. And I have to show you something here. Um, a little girl from Donald, Oregon, knows that Mary or um, Lydia. Well, that Lydia likes Hello Kitty, so she sent a Hello Kitty envelope. I thought that was cute. And that's in Donald, Oregon, which is halfway between Portland and Salem, right about there. We're, we're yeah. And then the next one, Jefferson, Oregon, is about eight miles yeah. northeast of Albany. Girls, no almost, they're almost neighbors. Right. And while we're on the west coast, uh, Antioch, California, which is about 20 miles northeast east of San Francisco, right along the bay. Mommy, Papa. Oh, sorry, the bay right is that there. blue? Right is that there. blue? Yeah. Our next one is Wolcott, Vermont. And uh, the lady said that she works in a, a vet clinic part-time. And my sister, one of my sisters used to be a vet. 
uh, but she's not anymore though. And she also let us know that she likes snowshoeing, as most Vermonters do. Uh, and she said most people think Vermonters like skiing, but uh, most of them like snowshoeing. They're planning a snail's pace challenge uh, for their family, too. And it's uh, 20 miles north of Montpelier, which is almost to the border, oh. but not quite. Uh, can you reach that? I can't reach that. I'm going to need a stool for that one. The next one is Opolis, Kansas. And it's uh, right in the corner of Kansas. And she said that there are only 150 people that live there. And you won't find it on any map. And I couldn't find it on a map. Thankfully, she drew, drew a little map of Kansas and showed where it was. And then uh, someone from Oxford, North Carolina, sent some goodies for the kids. Oxford, North Carolina is... Right here. Got it. 30, okay, there it is. North, a little bit north of Raleigh. Wait, what's what state? That state up there. That's Russia. Is it Russia? Okay. okay. What is that state? That's Australia. That's it oh, for we never saw that one. And that's it for the United States. Then we got a letter from uh, someone in Port Augusta, South Australia. And she said she's a nursing student and um, she likes our cooking videos and thrifty videos uh, because she's on a student budget. We don't need them more. We're happy we can help students with uh, saving money. Bye! Bye. Peter Thank you, Mary. is using Charity's new tongs. In fact, I should say, Charity is letting Peter use her new tongs. Isn't she so nice to share her things like that? Anyways, we had a total mommy fail today. I was supposed to do stuffed shells and said I edited a video and did not get dinner prepared like I wanted. So we are having hot dogs, which of course the kids think is the best, but I don't think that's a good mommy. That's a, like, for me, that's a mommy feel. I would have been happy with some stuffed shells and Italian bread, but now we're having hot dogs. We're gonna call it a night. I spent a good chunk of the day editing a lot of videos. So hopefully we're gonna have some great content on there shortly. Hope you've enjoyed this kind of dull, boring day again, and we will see you in our next vlog. Good night.